You're pushing 80, but you've got the strength and energy of a wild ox. That's the legendary Sylvester Stallone for you. Yeah, we all recognize him as the gritty, hard-working, and rugged Rocky Balboa. But did you ever stop to think that this man is now 77 years old? Mind you, he could outshine youngins half his age in a fitness face-off. It's not just about flexing those muscles for the camera, it's what he does behind the camera that's keeping him kicking butt in the Revitalixer department. Today, we're looking at how this Hollywood icon stays in tip-top shape. But first, let's rewind and get cozy with the man behind the muscle. Sylvester Stallone himself. Let's go back in time here and jump into 1946 in the bustling streets of Hell's Kitchen, a neighborhood on the west side of Midtown Manhattan. Stallone's journey wasn't all glitz and glam from the get-go. Oh, heck no. It kicked off with a real plot twist. When he was born, Stallone's mother underwent complications during his birth, and two sets of forceps had to be used to bring Stallone into the world. Unfortunately, this managed to sever a nerve that gave him that unique snarl he's had for so long and caused his speech to be somewhat slurred. Ouch. But did that stop him? Not a chance. Fueled by a fire for acting, Stallone dove headfirst into drama studies at the University of Miami, laying the groundwork for his future Hollywood domination. But let's keep it real. Success wasn't served on a silver platter. Oh no. Back in New York City, Stallone faced the reality of a struggling actor, juggling odd jobs and barely scraping by. There were moments when thrown in that towel seemed like the easy way out, but Stallone wasn't one to give up easily and surrender. Then boom! In the early 70s, his hustle started paying off. When he landed the role in The Lords of Flatbush in 1974, it gave him a taste of the sweet life he's been working so hard for. And not long after, the true catalyst for his booming career really happened. In 1975, he was watching the Ali vs. Wepner fight, and the biggest, brightest light bulb flicked on in his head. Uh, Muhammad Ali fight. For one brief moment, this supposed stumble bump turned out to be magnificent in the fact that he lasted and knocked the champion down. I said, boy, this isn't a metaphor for life. In just over a month, he spat out the script for Rocky. Basically, real-life reflection of his own struggles living in New York. Took his masterpiece to the big shots in Hollywood, he faced his toughest opponent yet. They actually wanted a big-name star to play the role of Rocky, but Stallone wasn't having any of it. He wanted to be Rocky Balboa himself, dang it. Talk about nerves of steel, right? But Stallone dug in his heels, refused to budge. And guess what? His tenacity paid off big time. Rocky wasn't just a movie, it was Stallone's triumphant underdog tale, proving that, with enough cuts and grit, anything's possible. We all have something to learn from Rocky over here. When Stallone stepped into the ring as Rocky, the world witnessed a cinematic masterpiece. The film wasn't just a hit, it was a cultural explosion blasting Stallone into the stratosphere of stardom. Rocky became Stallone's alter ego, a symbol of resilience and victory. And from there, it was one iconic role after another. Enter John Rambo in First Blood, another Stallone masterpiece that solidified his status as a Hollywood big shot. Now, if you think Stallone can only flex his acting muscles, you'd be dead wrong. The guy was the triple threat, writing, directing, and acting. And while he was busy churning out cinematic gold, he didn't slack on the physical front. Stallone's commitment to fitness was legendary, making him the poster boy for Hollywood muscle. All right, enough with the backstory. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of Stallone's diet secrets. When he was prepping for Rocky III, Stallone went all out with a diet that was straight out of left field. We're talking tiny oatmeal cookies, enough coffee to fuel a small army, 25 cups a day to be precise, and a side of tuna fish. Sure, it was high in protein, but it was seriously lacking in, well, everything else. Turns out, this extreme diet wasn't all rainbows and sunshine. Stallone pushed his body to the limit, slashing his body fat down to a measly 2.9%. Sounds impressive, right? Wrong. This low of a body fat percentage is dangerously low for normal bodily functions. 
Stallone himself admitted it was a dicey situation, leaving him feeling drained every single day. Extreme diets like this aren't just a fad, they're a fast track to malnutrition, weakened immunity, and a whole heap of long-term health issues. So while Stallone may have looked like a Greek god on the outside, his extreme diet served as a stark reminder that health isn't just about appearances, it's about balance, baby. After his brush with extreme diets, Stallone wised up and opted for a more balanced and sustainable approach to eating. These days, Stallone's diet is all about harmony, incorporating a smorgasbord of foods to cover all his nutritional bases. His diet consists of lean protein, complex carbs, and healthy fats. He eats six small meals a day to keep his metabolism burning and his energy levels high. Here's an example of what a typical day of eating might look like for Stallone. Meal number one, three egg whites, one whole egg, half cup of oatmeal with berries, one slice of whole grain toast. Sounds pretty good. Meal two, four ounces of grilled chicken breast, a cup of steamed brown rice, one cup of mixed vegetables. Not bad. Meal three, four ounces of grilled salmon, one sweet potato, and another cup of mixed vegetables. All right. Meal four, four ounces of lean ground turkey, half a cup of quinoa, one cup of mixed vegetables. Dude likes his vegetables. Meal five, four ounces of grilled steak, one cup of roasted sweet potatoes, another cup of mixed vegetables. Meal six, one scoop of whey protein powder, one tablespoon of natural peanut butter, half a cup of sliced bananas. Stallone's meal plan is customized based on his daily caloric needs, and it may vary depending on his movie roles and his fitness goals. Not just in the food department, Stallone's not skimping on hydration either. He knows that it's important to chug down H2O throughout the day, not just to stay hydrated, but to keep digestion in check and pesky cravings at bay. And here's the cherry on the top, his cheat days. Yeah, even Rocky Balboa himself believes in indulging once in a while. He carves out a day each week to enjoy those guilty pleasures that might not make the cut on his regular menu. After all, balance is key, even for the toughest guy in Hollywood. Now that we've had a taste of Stallone's grub, let's pump some iron into his workout routine. Stallone's workouts have been legendary, mirroring the intensity of his on-screen triumphs. Over the years, his fitness journey has morphed, reflecting his evolving roles and personal philosophies. Back in the day, especially for the first couple of Rocky movies, Stallone was all about bulking up. Picture him in the gym, sweating it out for hours, hoisting heavy weights like it was nobody's business. Bench presses, squats, deadlifts, you name it, he lifted it. He was all about packing on that muscle mass to look like the heavyweight champ. But Stallone wasn't content to just stick with one look. By the time Rocky III rolled around, he was after a leaner, meaner physique. So out with the heavyweights and in with the high reps and cardio. Running and jumping rope were his solutions to chisel out those muscles and shed that body fat. Then came Rocky IV and Rambo, and Stallone kicked things up a notch. Teaming up with Franco Columbu, a former Mr. Olympia, he dove headfirst into a grueling regimen fit for a superhero. Two times a day workouts, six days a week, this wasn't just a measly gym sesh. It was a full-blown mission to sculpt a body that was both Herculean and finely tuned. Let's work on it. Let's try to work the shoulders today, you know? The back of the arm. Yeah. Okay. Work high, bench yeah. press. These days, Stallone may have dialed down the intensity, but he's still hitting the gym like a boss. While he's not chasing Mr. Olympia dreams anymore, his routine is still nothing to scoff at. Rigorous, well structured, and keeping him in fighting form. Five days a week, he's hitting the gym, each day dedicated to a different set of muscle groups. Monday kicks off with a bang chest, back, abs take the center stage. Tuesday, it's all about the shoulders, arms, and you guessed it, more abs. Wednesday, leg day. Don't skip those squats. Thursday is focused on rear deltoids and traps. Friday though, it's the main event, boxing. Stallone still throws down in the ring, honing his skills and breaking a serious sweat. Why boxing, you ask? Well, it's not just about throwing punches. It's a full body workout that fires up muscles from head to toe, from legs and core to arms and shoulders. Every jab, every hook works to sculpt and strength Stallone's physique. Boxing delivers cardiovascular benefits, getting Stallone's heart pumping and boosting his endurance and lung capacity, vital for tackling those action-packed roles that he is famous for. 
Thanks for staying with us this long in the video. So we'll leave you with a parting quote from Sylvester Stallone himself. I'm not gonna do the accent, I'll spare you. Life's a battle. It's not about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep pushing forward. His journey isn't just about muscles and movies. It's about embracing the grind, learning from the setbacks, and rising stronger than ever. So next time you're struggling to stick it to that healthy routine, let Stallone be your guide. After all, in his world, winning isn't just an option. It's the only way to play. Thanks for watching. Remember, with a dash of effort and a pinch of self-care, you'll be rocking that youthful glow for years to come. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, where we uncover more Revitalixer recipes.